Praise God, praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day. Come on, somebody. Let's give him glory. Let's give him honor. Oh, that's just too much light right there. <laughs> praise God, praise God. I'm going to wait till a couple of you get on here. Um, if you read my title, I am saying that Canada is on lockdown. So I need you to understand. Do you remember like two days ago when I put up on here, um, urgent that God had with me. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even sleep because it was open vision 420 in the AM. How I said a lot of things was going to happen. The first one was the explosions. Well, that later on that day, there was an explosion in California. There was an explosion in Delaware. So things are happening. So you remember I told you there's a shutdown coming again. So I did classes tonight and one of the students is in Canada. They are on lockdown. <laughs> Y'all y'all understand what's happening. Now I don't know about you. I don't remember hearing that in the in the uh, media or anything. I said, okay, they're keeping that from us. So Canada is on lockdown, you guys. So let's pray for them. So not only that, I'm not gonna say her name, of course, but um, she doesn't want to take the vaccine, and they're kind of like trying to pressure her. So let's just keep each other prayed up. Um, I told y'all things are coming. Things are coming. Things are coming. So that's primarily why I want to get on here. Secondly, God was telling me, said that it's time for us to go up higher. He said, if we have to walk it like we talk, we got to pray like never before. We got to fast like never before. And this is the last thing. I notice y'all see me different, right? So I'm getting ready for class tonight, right? And I have all kind of stuff for my hair because y'all know why I wear my hair, right? And I'm getting ready to do my hair. God said, uh-uh, uh-uh. He said, we're about to do things different. I said, God, what do you mean? He said, from this day on, I don't want you to get on Facebook. And I don't want to get you to get on class. Especially if you're going to prophesy without your head uncovered again. So I repent openly because I'm going to walk that walk how God wants me to do as a prophet. I'm going to start covering my hair, my head up when I prophesy. We, it's, it, God, thank you, Lord. He's He's getting everything in order. He's putting everything in order. He's putting everything in order in everybody. He ain't playing. Because I had all my stuff. I thought I was going to do my little hair. He said, uh-uh. Then that's another thing. These are ministry robe shirts. I'm going to say it again. These are ministry robe shirts. Y'all know I've been thinking I was cute lately. Getting up on here looking, you know, trying to be cute. God saying that's another thing. Got to stop Missy. He called me out. Yes, he did. So I repent, God. It's subtle things, isn't it? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. It's subtle things. It's the little things. It's the little foxes. He said, get back, get back in it. You are not exempt. You can't do like them. I said, okay, Lord. Oh, uh, come on, somebody. I'm a forerunner. So whatever God said to do, I'm going to do. When he told me to step down from being an apostle, because women are not apostles, but y'all don't want that to hit y'all. Don't worry. He, he, he about to do it. <laughs> I feel like I'm the poster child for everything that's supposed to be right. And I, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because I don't mind. I don't mind repenting and say, okay, God, I'll do it the way you have called me to do it. That's what's happening in this hour. God wants us to operate a certain way because the worldliness have taken over the church and he's tired of it. Come on, somebody. How do you? God said he's tired of it. So these are the pressures that I sell. This is the pink one. I have purple and I have blue. I prayed over it with my oral. And I anointed it. And um, I know it looks different or whatever, but I don't care about how I look. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay safe. <laughs> Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. <sighs> Lord, let me let me show me how to do this, God. That's what have happened. We have allowed the world to come into the church and tell us how to dress, how to act, how to walk. Oh, oh that, that looked too homely. Oh, that, oh, oh girl, put, put a little makeup on. Like, I wear a little blue stuff, but y'all don't see me with all this stuff I used to wear. Thank you, Lord, I hear you. It's time for women of God to start looking like women of God. I know y'all not going to like that. I know y'all not going to like it. We wearing too much flesh. That's what I'm saying. Ain't no sense in I can't go around the bush. God say, stop it. A woman of God dressed modest. Come on, somebody. But we didn't allow the world to come in and say, oh, no, you could do this. You could do that. You could do that. Hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. Y'all know it's real. Y'all know it's real. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you continue to walk it 
like you talking. Be a real woman of God. Be a real man of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Get out them tight suits. Get out them tight dresses and start dressing the way that God have ordained it. God never told us to get out of the robes. God never told us to dress like the world. Come on, somebody. Y'all know it's real. And that's in every aspect. We got to stop talking like the world. We got to stop walking like the world. And we got to start moving in power. That's why you're not seeing power in this hour. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, but the main thing I came to say, please pray for Canada. They're on lockdown. When she told me that, I was like, well, how come that's not on the news? And she was, she was so hurt because so much is going on there. Y'all didn't even know her. I didn't even know. So, um, just pray and let's just do what God have called us to do, people. I, I'm, let me tell y'all something. I ain't trying to be no star. I don't, I don't care about this. I just want to be saved. I truly want to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Because if, let me tell you something. If you are not truly anointed, then why are you a Christian? Don't get mad. I'm not judging you. If you are not truly anointed, then why are you a Christian? Because we're supposed to be able to lay hands on the sick and they recover. We're supposed to speak it and it be. Come on, somebody. This is just... I think it was three days ago I talked about the uh, the explosions happened the first day and now lockdown. And remember, if you go back and look, it's on YouTube and it's on Facebook. I put urgent. These are the things that I saw. I saw we having another shutdown, which is the same thing as lockdown. I saw explosions. I saw war. I saw famine. I saw pestilence. I'm telling you. And that's because the church is asleep right now. We're asleep. We're asleep. We're asleep. We're so busy getting money, getting money, getting money, getting money. And I'm not saying we don't need money to live, but y'all doing too much. And God says, stop doing that. Stop making people say, this is what y'all do. I need 20 of y'all to give $100. Let people give what they can. Stop putting that pressure. God says, stop fleecing the flock. I'm going to say it again. Stop fleecing the flock. I'm going to say it again. Stop fleecing the flock. They're already having a hard time. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Stop taking from people. Hallelujah. That's manipulation, which is witchcraft. We're supposed to just pray and say, give what God put on your heart. And if you ain't got nothing, pray. And don't let nobody make you feel bad about that. It's time for us to stop doing that, God says. God says it's about money. I told y'all, sex and lies. We got to come back to the oracles of God, God say. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Y'all know it's real. All right, that's all God told me to say, and I'm going to be obedient. Mm -mm -mm. We're in high time. I'm doing just what he said, and that's it. You see them big eyes? I'm not playing. Mm -mm. This is the time we got to walk it the way God have called us to. Because I'm telling you right now, stop being worldly Christians. Stop it. And it seems like the worldly Christians get mad at the ones that call it out. Y'all this, y'all that. That's why you ain't got no power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you're not walking in obedience. You're doing what you want to do. Hallelujah. So we got we to gotta come back. Come back home, God says. Come back. Go back to your first love. Let him walk with you. Let him talk with you. Come on, somebody. Reded That's it. I hear it. God said a lot of you must rededicate yourself to him. You've left him. No, you didn't mean to because we don't. It's subtle. It's subtle. It's subtle. You start working. You start doing this. You start doing that. And next thing you know, God is a convenience. This is a relationship. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. This is a relationship. Every time God tell me to do something, I do. I wouldn't be looking like this. That's for sure. I've still been trying to be cute. He said, Deanna, you have to be the example. Well, then there it is. Here it is. I don't play. Whatever he say. If he say, walk on one leg, I'm walking on one leg. You can laugh all you want. Hallelujah. I'm obedient. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll out soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.